Roswell Flight Test Crew, here today to take a look at the Vista UAV. Click subscribe now to keep up with our latest reviews and adventures. The Vista is a successor to the wildly popular Dromeda Ominous, which we've used extensively as a training aircraft. Let's go ahead and take a peek inside the box. The first thing you'll find in the box is the manual. It includes a safety tips for battery charging, as well as instructions for basic flight operations. And befitting a hobby grade aircraft, there's an exploded diagram and parts list. So that's available for you. In addition, inside you'll find detailed instructions to help you through replacing any components that become damaged when you're flying. All right, next let's take a look at the aircraft itself. Always the exciting part. All right, here it is, the Dromeda Vista. I like it. The style's a little weird. It's still sort of insect-like, like the Ominous, and it still looks like it's very tough. If we flip it upside down, we see that the uh, battery is already on board, slung underneath here. One thing to note is that this is an 850 milliamp hour battery versus a 750 milliamp hour battery, which came standard with the Ominous. However, the Vista will fly using the Ominous batteries. The Vista retains the Ominous's legendary toughness and adds these cross members here, most likely to make it an even more stout aircraft. And the next thing we've got coming out of the box is the controller. This appears to retain all the same functions as the Ominous, but in an upgraded housing. Now let's take a look at the accessories in the box. First up, you get four AA batteries for the radio. You get a complete set of extra propellers, as well as a small screwdriver, as well as four extra screws. In a very smart decision, Dromeda uses the same screw throughout the entire aircraft, so every component which is held together uses these same screws, so it's easy to find a replacement if you need it. And finally, here's the USB charger for the flight battery. It looks a little different than the one that came with the Ominous, but the two work interchangeably. All right, let's start by getting the flight battery charging. First, you plug the battery charger into a USB power source and then connect up the battery. There's a little LED inside the casing, which will glow steadily when the battery is charging. And then when it's finished charging, it'll start to blink. Next, we're going to insert the four AA batteries into the radio. The battery hatch is held closed with a screw, so you'll need the included screwdriver. The Vista has four flight modes, which you set using the radio. Easy, normal, advanced, and expert. These change both the amount of input it will accept, which is whether or not it stops at a certain degree of tilt or is capable of flipping completely over, as well as how quickly it responds to those inputs. As you move up from easy to expert, you get fewer limits and faster responses. To change the flight modes, you use the flight mode button on the radio, as well as the right stick, which incorporates a push button. The changes are indicated by the flight mode light on the radio. Steady blue is easy mode, suitable for training and indoor flying. Steady orange is normal mode, better to handle the wind if you're flying outdoors. Flashing blue is advanced mode, which turns the limits off on tilt angle. And flashing orange is expert mode, which has no limits and fast response. The radio also includes trim tabs for each axis of movement. You can use these to counter small persistent drift in the aircraft's movement. Tapping in the direction of the arrow on the trim tab is the equivalent of putting slight, steady pressure on the stick in that direction. If your aircraft is persistently drifting in one direction and you aren't able to resolve the problem with the trim tabs, you may need to recalibrate the sensors embedded in the flight control system. First, you need to make sure that the trim tabs are centered. Now on this radio, you don't have a visual indicator of where they are, so it relies on sound. As you move the trim tab outward, you'll hear a beep that increases in frequency. and that's all the way at one end. In order to center the trim tab, you move it in the other direction until you hear a single loud beep. The single loud beep means the tab is centered. Next, 
You want to place the Vista on a level surface and connect the battery. Make sure the aircraft is in normal flight mode, that the flight mode indicator light is solid orange, and then move the right stick to the lower right hand corner. Once it's there, move the left stick to the lower right hand corner. The LEDs will blink briefly, you release the sticks, the LEDs stop blinking, and the aircraft has been recalibrated. Finally, and this is just for fun, you've got a flip button on the controller. You press that button, and then give a hard input on the right stick and the aircraft will execute an automatic flip in that direction. This is a great way to impress your friends with your acrobatic skills, provided that none of them have ever seen a Vista or an Ominous up close before. So it's actually, it's a really smooth aircraft. It feels like a little bit uh, more responsive. I've set the gains at about halfway. It's pretty responsive. I have it in kind of the easier mode right now, but it's handling the wind okay. So actually the wind's died down and now it's kind of fun actually. It's just bopping around the sky. It seems it may be a little bit heavier, but it uh, flies nicer though. It flies a lot better when I'm just coming into a corner or trying to avoid hitting a tree. I may adjust the rates real quick again. Let me just do that and give it a try. Okay, so I'm gonna change the dew rates real quick. You just press and hold, wait for the beep, and set your dew rates here. So 50%. 25, 80, 100, just where you like it. So up here, let go, and then fly. And now it's responsive. Wow, there it goes. So big difference in the performance, just moving those up a little, a little bit there. It's quite nice and putting it exactly where I want it to go. So I'd say it's very easy to fly. So while Tekkenstein is flying the Vista for you, I've got the Ominous back up in the air. I want to be able to give you a good head-to-head -head comparison of the two aircraft. All right, I'm not sure if this is an especially good idea in this wind, <laughs> but we're gonna try to hot swap these aircraft. You ready? Ready. One, two, three. Oh, 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 oh. and we got it! <laughs> <laughs> All right, well, I have to say, I like the Vista a lot better in this windy environment, at least. The, uh, the Ominous was getting, you like it? Yeah, I think so. The Ominous was really getting kicked around in this wind, and the Vista isn't obviously a heavy aircraft by any imagination, but it certainly is dealing with the wind much better. Yeah, it's a lot smoother. The Ominous is a bit shakier in the wind, but the, uh, the Vista was quite nice. Yeah, yeah, I, for, uh, for outdoor flying, I, I would choose the Vista over the Ominous. All right, you want to show them how the flip button works? Absolutely. You ready? Ready. One, two, three, go. Gah! <laughs> you know, rock solid. It's actually, you know, I think it's easier going this way than that way. Yeah, yeah, the, the oh, I'm, I'm going to land with the almond. It just isn't handling this. Okay, so I'm going to flip to the right here. So I hit flip, go right, and it goes right. And flip to the left, hit flip, left, and it goes left. Just that easy. Okay, and we also wanted to show you the flying time for the aircraft. And so you can see the whole test for yourself. We went and got ourselves a timer, and we're going to record the whole thing in time lapse. So that was our look at the Dromita Vista. Hope you enjoyed watching. See you next time. All right, fly safe. One more. <laughs>